What areas of the Las Vegas Valley are the hottest? This past weekend, volunteers came together to try to answer that question. Fox News' Kim Passoff breaks down how they did it and why. So on Saturday, 28 teams of volunteers drove around the valley for three hours, one hour in the morning, one hour in the afternoon, and one hour at night, getting temperature readings at the exact same time at locations across the valley. The goal? To create a comprehensive heat map. I'm actually an environmental science major, so this to me is super important. Liz Becker is volunteering as a citizen scientist part of one of the two person teams. She was assigned this route in the Northwest Valley. It was so neat because I got to drive through like the preschool that I used to teach at and the little neighborhood next to it. The 2022 NOAA Urban Heat Island Mapping Campaign aims to help better understand what areas of Metro Las Vegas are most impacted by extreme heat. The Federal Weather Agency sent these temperature sensors to Vegas that were mounted on cars. It's custom made and it fits on the window of the car and it um, goes up above the vehicle a little bit away from the vehicle so it doesn't get the heat off of your car um, and it measures the humidity and the temperature in the air and it's got a GPS locator on it so it's very specific to GPS coordinates as it moves. Liz's assigned route for each of the three reading hours was a 16 mile loop. They created the route so that we would be going by different kinds of areas. So like a park like this is going to lower the ambient air temperature. Whereas if you're surrounded by concrete in parts of town, that's going to have a higher ambient air temperature. That's known as the heat island effect. Higher temperatures in areas with more concrete, asphalt and buildings, often the city's urban core where the materials hold more heat from the sun. It's really important because we're able to take that information and use it to mitigate heat in areas where we're experiencing higher temperatures. Sue Christensen with the RTC of Southern Nevada, who is partnering with NOAA on this mapping effort, says they will use the data to try and cool areas found to be the hottest. By adding more trees, shelter, different, different ways that we can help And all of that data collected on Saturday is still being compiled and analyzed by scientists to create that heat map. This heat mapping experiment will be repeated in the future to see if climate change really is making our area hotter. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Turns out Las Vegas is one of 14 cities taking part in this research. The city has pledged to take on the urban heat island effect, planting 60,000 trees over the next 30 years to provide shade and bring those temps down.